number 5 the pentagonal prism of base say 30 mm axis say 70 mm is lying on the ground on one of its base edges such that the axis is parallel to VP and inclined at 60 degree to HP. We have to draw the position. So we have to draw the top view first with the side position. So draw the x y line. Draw the pentagon in side view position. So draw the vertical line for the base side. The base side is given as 30 mm base side is given as 30 mm draw the pentagon for 30 mm base side so the idea is the pentagon should be drawn in the side position that means the side should be kept perpendicular to xy line so the included angle for the pentagon is 108 already 90 is available put 18 degree Take the same side on the 18 degree line. We will get the shape like this. Try to take this gap and uh, duplicate the pentagon. So you will, be, you will be getting a shape like this. From here you try to cut with the 30 degree line, 30 mm line. From here you can make in this end you can make one arc here so that we get the 30 mm line here so you will be getting the exact pentagon so pentagon all sides should be equal first thing all the sides should be equal at the same time all the included angle should be of 108 degree so, if the pentagon is not reasonable, we will try to correct it. So, how do you mark the center of the pentagon? Just take uh, this height, place it on the median line, then you will be getting the axis as well. So, now project the front view. Project the front view. So given the height of the pentagonal prism is 70 mm, take 70 mm height, draw the front view. So you can name the pentagon as A, B, C, D, then E. Similarly, inside 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So at the top you have A dash, B dash, then C dash, then at the bottom you have C dash, top you have B dash, and the top you have E dash. That means A dash visible, E dash visible, D dash visible, C dash invisible, and B dash invisible. So this line is the axis line. This line is the axis line. Again, you can draw the bottom points 1 dash, 2 dash at the bottom, 3 dash at the bottom, 4 dash at the top, and 5 dash at the top. So This is the front view of the pentagon, pentagonal prism. So a pentagonal, true pentagonal shape will be available in the top view and you will have the rectangular shape in the front view. Now you have to take the pentagon in such a way that one side should be on that xy line. So the same time you have to have the axis 60 degree to HT. So the easiest method is put the base 30 degree to HT. Take this length, place it here. So, redraw this shape. 
n. Try to take this distance, place the axis, then this distance you can place the other edge. So you can name the points as 3 1 dash, 4 1 dash, again 2 1 dash, 5 1 dash, here it is 1 1 dash, again a 1 dash, then b 1 dash, c 1 dash, d 1 dash, and e 1 dash. Now you can project this, project this lines, we will get a three lines here. Similarly, you can get three lines on the other side. You have to draw an ex exact pentagon. This pentagon doesn't look like a pentagon. When you use instrument, you will get exact shape. So, you can even correct slightly. Some slight corrections can be made. So now you draw the horizontal lines. You can project these lines. Now we can find the points of the section. Start with A. A horizontal can get you A1 here. Similarly, B horizontal and B vertical will be available here. C horizontal and C vertical, C1. Similarly, D horizontal and D vertical, you will get D1. E horizontal and E vertical, you will get E1. One horizontal and one vertical is 1, 1. Two horizontal and two vertical is 2, 1. Three horizontal and three vertical is 3, 1. Four horizontal and four vertical, you will get 4, 1. 5 horizontal and 5 vertical you get 5 1. So the similar way draw the extreme edges first just find the uh, skeleton just enclose them with an extreme edge afterwards assume the extreme lines horizontal lines at the extreme corner so whatever is above will be visible whatever is below this line will not be visible so A, B, C, D, E is completely visible. Try to join A, B, C, D, E, A. 1, 2, 3, 4 is completely invisible. So make whatever line is left out the, after joining the outer edge. That is 1, 2 is outer. 2, 2, 2, 3 is invisible. 3, 4 is also invisible. 4, 5 is again invisible. Now you can follow the actual order that is you can join A with B, B with C, C with D, D with E, again A with A. 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 1. 1 A, B2, C3, D4, E5, A1. So A1, 1 A, 1 A is at the top, so therefore visible. 1 A is visible. 2 B, 2 B is at the edge, you can leave it. 3C, 3C is at the bottom, so 3C is invisible, put the dotted line. Similarly, 4D, 4D is at the bottom, so 4D is also invisible, 5E, 5E is edge. So again, under the classification, this is a problem where the axis is parallel to BP and incline to HP. Incline to HP. From the answer, we can understand one edge, one base edge is on the ground and axis is inclined at 60 degree. Axis is inclined at 60 degree to HP. Base is inclined at 30 degree, so therefore axis is inclined at 60 degree to HP. So, here is a pentagonal prism with the, its base side on HP. At the same time, axis is parallel to BP and inclined to HP. 